Hey everyone, I'm Robin VR, and welcome to another episode of VR Review, my weekly virtual news wrap-up. This program is made possible by generous contributions by viewers like you. Thank you. Virtual reality is going to be used to help the first head transplant patient prepare for their new body. Aside from the myriad of technical challenges involved in transplanting a human head onto a new body, there's the very real issue that the patient may not be psychologically ready for the body switch. Transplanting a head into a new body could be a recipe for confusion or madness. The VR system, made by Chicago-based Inventium Bioengineering Technologies, is designed to help overcome these difficulties. Potential transplant patients will be undergoing months of VR sessions to prepare for the operation. Few details about the VR system have been shared, but photos show it using HTC Vive and Virtuex Omnidirectional Treadmill. Microsoft has announced that Oculus Rift owners with a Windows 10 PC will be able to stream Xbox One games into their headsets starting December 12th. This will not turn Xbox One games into virtual reality games. Instead, you play games on a large virtual screen in one of three immersive VR environments. There is no new hardware to buy, as the free app connects your Xbox One via your home network. This is likely part of Microsoft's overall partnership with Oculus, so don't expect to see other consoles or headsets supported anytime soon. You've probably already seen virtual reality drawing and painting programs, such as Google's Tilt Brush or Oculus Quill. Well, it was only a matter of time that Adobe was going to get into the game, and this week they revealed an early preview of Project Dolly. Eric Natsuki, Principal Artist in Residence at Adobe Research, described Project Dolly as an immersive drawing experience in the virtual world. Artists use custom brushes to create and move around their creations in three dimensions. They can literally walk through their own paintings. So far, Project Dolly has only been seen running on the HTC Vive, and no release today has been given. Finally, Microsoft has revealed the minimum specifications for its upcoming line of low-priced mixed reality headsets. Requirements are 4 gigs of RAM, a USB 3 port, a graphics card with DirectX 12 support, and a 4-core CPU or hyper-threading capable dual-core CPU. These are very minimal requirements, especially compared to multiple USB ports and high-powered graphic cards required by the HTC Vive or Oculus Rift. I was able to find many new computers online for under $300 that meet or exceed this minimum, as do many desktops and laptops made in the last few years. These values come from the Windows Holographic First Run application, included in the latest test builds of Windows 10. These are the minimum specs, not the recommended specs. So if your system only meets the minimum, don't expect top performance or your system to work with all future Windows Holographic experiences. If you like this video and feel it's helped you keep up with these technologies, please consider supporting what I do with any of these options. If you can't afford to make a financial contribution, please subscribe and share the video with your friends on social media. It really helps. Thank you.